if people would ask me now if if I am so affected with all the controversies, amin na insult, amin na insults, amin na parang gadal, I am, but not as not as bad as what I have been through as a child and as a mother. Manang Marie, I have one question about you being PCOO. Siyempre, gusto malaman din ng iba. How is uh, President Duterte being a boss? Ah, napakasipag. Mm. Actually, han mo nga kaya tipuyat na. Ah. Yes, because uh, talaga nga nagtrabaho dire-diretso. And very humble. There were occasions where aga makita na nga ubing, uray baby. The President takes time nga bagatin di ubing anya na gan, na. Mm. The baby ah, mm. nga ang kosya. And even kids. He takes time na ka istorya isuda. Mm -hmm. That's why when when my daughter was sick at the hospital, she wrote a letter to the president about the garbage in Manila, ah. <laughs> and uh, and she wanted to see him again. Mm -hmm. And he's very accommodating. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for sharing that to us. Being a controversial woman of Baguio nga, <laughs> na stress ang mga banks ng ating kababayan, pati ako na stress din. <laughs> At tumutok talaga kami sa mga pangyayari ngayon dito sa Beneco. Have you tried searching or googling yourself? No, I didn't have time and I don't want for now. <laughs> and do you know na yung number one na lumalabas doon is um, Marie Rafael Tos Beneco. So that's the hot topic right now, is regarding Beneco. So pag-usapan naman natin, ma'am, about Beneco. Can you tell us why you chose to apply for the position of a general manager in Beneco? Uh, when they ask me that, every time I go around, I only say one thing, and this is, uh, this is so honest for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to be with my children, mm -hmm. close to my, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Because they have, we have to monitor her for the next few years, and have a CBC every month for her blood. Ta nagpastiki mo na, and uh, I took my chance, applied for the job. Tano maala ako di agyaman ako. No haan pasensya ako. As jay lang mat. That was as simple as it is. It was as simple as that. In fact, I was never part of any controversy before in Beneco. It's not something that I waited for. Kumbaga, naira na lain, nga idi, when the time came nga, I wanted already to be with my children also, I wanted to come home, at dati bakante, then I took my chances. So, again, uh, I have nothing personal against anyone in Beneco. I don't know uh, personally the Gita Adatta, in fact, even in Chir Mel Cholico, but I don't know him personally. I have nothing against him as a person. So people are asking and people are curious. They want to know, among all the positions now that are vacant in the government, uh, at saka dito sa Cordillera, why Beneco? Um, no adaman taki da du mga position iti gobyerno adadamot na katugaw. Mm -hmm. And uh, adadaman ti da du mga opisina ta adulat na ti agap apply nga kailian. Mm -hmm. So awan siguro ti position di ta nga awan ti aplikante. Mm -hmm. And I chose Bineco because I thought then, uh, at least dito yung han unay nga controversial, uh, at least dito yung han nga haan nga gobyerno. Mm. <laughs> it was really, ano, it was so innocent. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know much about the controversy sounding Bineco then. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't really think no, uh, anybody for that matter nga kastagay yung kagulo ko kaya't natigulo. Mm -hmm. I cannot apply in all. Mas pangalikan, apply yung amin, takumpulmin to. Hamot nga mabalin. I really have to choose. So, when I chose this one, I will not apply anymore in Manila. So, kanyak mo't nga may sa, di jay laing mo't ti anes nga talaga nga nagapu kanyak. Like I said, this is that Pineco was not something that I really was waiting for. Nga agbakan tin to, tapno at dati apply ako. Talaga laing, na ira na. Na ijay chimpo mo't nga, nga kayat ko ti agawi dun. And if I may say, uh, my my daughter led me here. Mm -hmm. uh, well, with the pandemic and everything, di ba, idi last year, idi nag-lockdown, but you really want to be close to family. That's right. So that, di ba, no, ang yaman ti mapasama, at least, kadwa ang isuda, especially my children. Ta. Kung mm -hmm. nakmarudan ka, ag-12 years ako Manila, kat, uh, I had always been coming during weekends only. Mm -hmm. No summer, dada Manila, but they don't want to stay much in Manila. Ta, nag napudot okay. ka, no? Right. One of the issues also, that are being raised by people is that you don't have the technical know-how of an engineer 
or of running Beneco. How would you answer that? Well, as for me, awang mo tiba naghahan mo nga maandal. Mm -hmm. I will not say nga in a day maandal ko, mm -hmm. but I am willing to learn. Mm -hmm. And as a manager, at dadamot yung mabaling yung makatulong, mm -hmm. nga technical people, mm -hmm. uh, Engineer Likoben is the assistant general manager. Mm -hmm. And he's staying even with me as a general manager. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if I may say again, uh, then uh, the late uh, GM Versosa was not an engineer. Mm -hmm. So I hope ikan mm -hmm. nak sa, tadi jay lang mati daw daw ato. And then judge me later. Mm -hmm. Talaga nga, I will frustrate uh, you nagiti members consumers then uh, that's the time that you can judge me yeah. but for now if you can give me the chance or basit lang uh, pawayway iti puso you can panunot you i hope i hope may kanak day nga chance so if you are to speak to the people to the consumers to beneco to the board of directors and to the employees why should they give you a chance later after my term also mm -hmm. will end if there's something that I would wish for anybody nga sumublat to kanya, mm -hmm. kat natal-tal na nga ikasta nga mangipasublat, iti mm -hmm. I would address this also kadagito'y uh, empleyado mm -hmm. nga namnamain nyo kanya awanti apang ko ipitin kada kayo. I will not make you choose. Mm -hmm. Just agtrabaho kayo lang para iti pamilyayo, para iti members, consumers. Then that would be more than enough for me. I don't, I don't do loyalty check. Mm -hmm. It does not matter whether you like it or not. Basta handak nga dadaulan, okay at lang. And then just give me a chance, if you can. Uh, afford me the chance also to prove that uh, I can work with everyone, even the, the board of directors. Uh, in fact, I've been, I, I've met with them, hindi nag-apply ak, nakais istorya ang isudan, katag kakailyan tayo mo at awan sabsabali, sapay kumatahan tayo na puuran amin dagi bridges. Nga agtinurong kadagiti direksyon tayo, Tapno adan to tisublianan tayo. Right. I actually have last two questions that are toughest. Toughest. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Ayan na. So, ito na yung last two questions ko, ma'am, before we end this program. Despite all the criticisms, and even some are below the belt, right? Why are you still fighting for it? Ano po ba yung pinaglalaban nyo? We yes. want to understand it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, sabi ko nga, when I pray to God, I pray, Lord, Please give me my appointment. And then God gave it again. I want the dinaw to kini Abu Jus nga nang intent. Hanman nga dagos ng intent na. And then tatanga magulo ko na ka, Lord pasensya kan. Dumawatak man intent mo natal na kuma. Taad nang je appointment. And uh, for me to answer that uh, bluntly, DJ, why are you still standing? Because I know that there's a reason to, to all this. Before it was too personal to me mm. and quite selfish because I want to be with my children. I want a job. I want to be home. But this time, there's more to it than this. And uh, if I may say, the past months had been so tough. So sometimes, kasla uh, kayat nga agsarwa with all the pressure and the, 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 the insults and everything that's you know, um, uh, been thrown against me and my family. But then I said, this time, adon iti nagsakripisyo mat. Adon iti mangkayat na ada iti nasaysaya at siguro nga papanan na da ito'y mamangyari. So, for me, that keeps me going. Because it's not only for me anymore. It's for all those who believe that there's something more that we can do. Tough talaga. Yes, di ba? Tough na tough. And mom, um, if I am to describe you personally from an outsider, I see you as dauntless. You are fearless. Now, let me ask you, since this is real talk, how do you describe yourself? How do you describe the real Marie Rafael? Oh, that's tough, huh? Because mm. I don't talk much about myself. <laughs> it looks so arrogant for me to be talking about who am I. But... Um, I'll go with magnanimous. Mm. Uh, we were raised iti naganak mi kan ini apong mi who does, who does not say umugyata ah. or I'm afraid. Mm -mm. We were never afraid, especially if uh, we know that we are in the right mm -hmm. and kas de ti mang mangyari tata kunak tatay kat no adaman iti mang pasarding kanya. For me to pose, 
take a post, it would be about my children mm -hmm. and only them. And nothing will, nothing and no one will stop, stop me. I'm not young anymore. Mm. I'm getting old. And the more that I get old, the more that I realize that I need more simple time. I need more more time with my children also. I, I did not want to go home to run for any political position in Mountain Province. Because I want to mm. <laughs> kuma. And then it turned out to be this. Mm. And uh, there's no turning back. I hope everything will be fine in God's, in God's time. So perhaps for your last words, what, uh, what can they look forward to? Well, uh, Kanya Kamaysa, just give me this chance to work. And uh, I will open my doors to partner with the uh, barangay officials, barangay, captain, barangay uh, workers, I mean, uh, MCOs, the LGU, the local government, tapno, uh, nasaysaya at ikas taming agservisyo kada giti members, consumers. I'd like to partner with the uh, Aminya stakeholders tap no uh, nasimsim pa kan mangagak no anyaman da giti reklamo da han kuman kaya nga solusyon ang amin at the same time ngam, at least uh, we can work on better solutions iti amin nga kasapulan da giti members consumers tayo. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to say to, to our viewers or to everyone who's watching right now? I mean, thank you so much for this opportunity. <laughs> Kada giti amin nga han kung nga uh, uh, na kakaistorya nga mm -hmm. kakailyan uh, MC Osman when no haan uh, namnamain niyo nga ipapatik ti agtrabaho adun apo iti na isakripisyo iti panggapdeti nga kontrobersya nga mahantay nga masapon nga aga apa ta adamot ti lintag adamot iti proseso basta kanya kamay sa pangaasiyo ta ikanak iti tsansa tapno itarimaan ko kan uh, tapno awan ti maipipit nga empleyado awan ti maipipit nga ag they have to choose or ag kakabagyan no kwan ag aga apa let's 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 give each other a chance and uh, let's move forward and make a beneco uh, a better place to be for all members consumers can amin nga umili ditoy bagyo kin bengen okay saramat upos <laughs> ni saramat <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the one and only Attorney Marie Rafael. Stay safe, be happy, and always keep the faith. Please do not forget to subscribe.